tonight we are shooting NGC 3372 and that's my telescope and that's my HD 5 Pro mount the telescope I'm using for this target tonight is William Optics GT71 I've got a ZWO 183MC Pro color cool camera I've got a EAF autofocuser and I'm using ASI Air Pro with the L Extreme filter in the uh, field flattener and the focal reducer. So let's see how this thing turns out. All right, I've taken 30 light frames, 120 seconds each. I'm now taking 30 dark frames, which is 120 seconds again. Uh, I'm gonna take 60 of bias frames. That's my auto run on my ASI Air Pro app, and that's the, the the dark image, the dark frame. That's how it looks. Uh, the gain I'm using is 120. I've cooled down the camera to minus 20 degrees Celsius. So, yep. So far, it's all going good. Uh, I'm just gonna have a look at the light frames which I've taken NGC 3372 I've captured some more images uh, which was 60 seconds on previous night but uh, tonight yeah I'm tonight I'm gonna use the 120 seconds subframes okay this one is bad this needs to go so that one will be deleted and yeah, this is the one this is the first frame which came out really beautiful so we're gonna take these images uh, to our high-end laptop and uh, start the process and see how the image comes out hopefully it should be fine I'm not using auto guiding because my polar alignment was one arc minute and 42 seconds so that's pretty much on the dot and I don't I don't believe it should have any star trails on the other images. Uh, the one which you saw, the first one, was trying to do a meridian flip when I chose the talk target for the first time when the auto run started or began. So that was the issue, but yeah, that's fine. I'm also using a, a DSLR camera to capture a time lapse of the movement of the stars and the telescope pointing towards NGC 3372. So yeah, that'll be that'll be amazing to watch. Uh, so stay tuned and thank you.